final ingredient in all that we do is love. The Baha'i writings state that where there is love, nothing is too much trouble and there is always time. When people discuss the needs of vulnerable families and the important role of social services, no one mentions love. But it is love, our love for the young people with whom we work, our delight in their unique individuality and in their capacity for growth and change that is the truly transformational weapon in our armory. Now Grant assures me that inscribed on the walls of a monastery in Mount Athos are the following words. Sister Almond Tree, speak to me of love. And the almond tree blossomed. And this is the joy of the work that we do, the blossoming of the young people and the young children that we're working with. In closing, I would like to share with you two final quotations from the Baha'i Writings. Every child is potentially the light of the world, and at the same time it's darkness. Hence the importance of education and of work like ours in determining which outcome we will have. Each child whose future happiness and well-being is assured is a child who is not the darkness of the world. A child who is thriving and achieving his or her potential greatness and who is contributing positively and not draining the community resources through educational failure, through negative and antisocial behaviour. Here we have children and mothers who are breaking the cycle of intergenerational dysfunction and despair, who are potentially transforming a nation. Remember, children are the most precious treasure a community can possess. For in them are the promise and guarantee of the future. They bear the seeds of the character of future society, which is largely shaped by what the adults constituting the community do or fail to do with respect to children. They are a trust no community can neglect with impunity. So to finish, when we in New Zealand struggle to tackle our alarmingly high rates of child abuse and neglect, let us remember that the solutions to this problem are not merely economic or material as, as is so often suggested. It is education, it is love and support, hope, vision, Fano, community that really make the difference. After all, in the words of the African proverb, it takes a whole village to raise a child. Thank you.